Welcome to Make a Winter Luminaria. Hi, my name is Donna and I'm from the North Carroll Branch. You know, winter can be such a cold and bleak time of year. It's the perfect time to make this craft that can bring a little light into your day. And I'm speaking of a luminaria. Using just a, a few simple things that you may have around your house, or if you don't have them around your house, they're really easy to find. Um, you can make a really cute decorative um, candle holder that will just really add some pretty decoration to your home. Um, you could have a winter theme and use snowflakes. You could have a Valentine theme and use little hearts, or perhaps a St. Patrick's Day theme, or whatever else you can think of. Super Bowl Sunday. Um, you're only limited by your imagination. So let me show you some of the things that you can use to make these pretty, pretty decorations. First of all, mason jars. It does not matter what size, what shape, they all make a pretty luminaria. So look around your house, maybe check with a friend and see if they have some that they could, that they could let you have. Um, I had some friends very generously share some of their jars with me. And I'm really happy because I had such a nice variety to choose from. Um, Mod Podge is a staple of these crafts. Um, I have the matte Mod Podge. I like this one because it gives kind of a frosty glow to a clear glass. Um, they also make a, a glossy Mod Podge, which is also very lovely. Um, and um, either one you can use. Um, you can find this thing, uh, Mod Podge, at Walmart, at, on Amazon, at Michael's, any craft store. So it's easy to find, it's inexpensive. If you don't have Mod Podge, but you have white glue, you can use this. Simply pour a little out and pour some water in. It kind of thins it out a little bit, and it works the same way as Mod Podge. Um, and they both, of course, dry clear. I use a foam brush to apply my Mod Podge onto the jars. Um, you can use a regular brush. This one just has the advantage of no brush strokes. Um, and I usually pour a little bit of Mod Podge onto a paper plate, and that way I have a working area. Um, Epsom salts is great for your winter luminarias because it makes perfect snow. Whether you coat the outside with it or put some inside to use on your base, it looks like snow, it's really pretty. Um, if you were to add a little sparkle, of course, go for the glitter. White, clear, silver, and light blue make great snow. Um, I also have pink and red that I could use for Valentine's Day. And of course, you could get green for St. Patty's Day. Um, sometimes you can put things inside your jar such as this little bottle brush tree. Um, you can find little snowmen. Look at your old Christmas ornaments. If you have any that are broken, you know, the little figurines or whatever, those often look really cute in the jars. Ribbon or twine. I like to put some around the mouth of the jar, looks pretty, or around the, the top of the lid, looks, looks really cool. Um, I have things like, here's a, here's a uh, spray snow if you wanted to use that. Um, my cutouts, and I have different cutouts here, are you can use construction paper, you can use gift wrap, you can use tissue paper, it all works out. Um, and of course you need a candle. Now you could use a regular votive candle or tea light. Um, as long as you don't have anything inside your jar. But I personally like the little battery powered tea lights or candles. Um, I like these because um, they're easier to light, they are less hazardous, 
and you can just easily slip them in and if they fall to the side you can pick them up without worrying about burning yourself. Um, so anyway, you are just you are just limited by your imagination here. I always keep um, some newspaper underneath whatever I'm doing because I'm messy. <laughs> so um, that way glitter, glue, everything doesn't get on my, on my tablecloth. Oh, this is a vinyl tablecloth, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I always have bought uh, nearby some scissors in case I have to trim anything, um, pencil or pen, and I think you are ready to go, and I will show you what I've done so far. This cute little jar was very easy to make. First I took some Mod Podge and Mod Podged over the jar. I took my cutouts of white and light blue snowflakes and Mod Podged them all over the jar and let them dry. And then, after they were dry, I put another coat of Mod Podge on and I rolled the whole jar in some glitter. I just used some very subtle glitter, white with a little bit of silver added to it, just to give it a frosty look. Then I took some light blue ribbon and tied it around the mouth of the jar and this little ornament here, this little white snowflake ornament with a silver thread, um, just tied that onto the ribbon. This is a really cute design because you can use this all winter long. And I've got my little candle in the middle. Very simple and very pretty. This was the easiest of all the jars. All I did with this little jelly jar was coat it with Mod Podge, roll it in some Epsom salts, let it dry, put a piece of twine around the top and a little sprig of fresh holly, and put my little tea light in, and there you have a really pretty little decoration. For this luminaria, I'm going to use a large, a large jar and instead of Mod Podging on this one, I'm just going to use a few little figurines. Um, I've got this little snowman who, even though he's wearing a Santa hat, I think he's a snowman, he can stay around all winter long. Um, I've glued him to, I made a little base out of some cardboard, um, and I have hot glued him onto there so he doesn't slip around a lot into in the uh, slippery surface of the bottom of the jar. Then I have a little bottle brush tree. So this is what I'm gonna do. I've started to decorate the top of my jar with just a few little snowflake stickers that I found out at the dollar store. I'm going to slip in, slip my snowman into the bottom of the jar. Remember, you can move them around with a pencil or pen or something to get them into the position you want. Next, I have some Epsom salts. These make perfect snow, and I'm just going to pour them into the bottom of my jar. That's my snow. Kind of shake it to even it out. Next, I'm taking a bottle brush tree and I'm just going to push it into the, there we go. Let's see, here we are. Now, I would love to be able to put a candle in here, but it's, it's far too crowded, as you can see. So, I've devised a little way to get illumination into this jar. Using the lid, um, I have sticky Velcroed the candle onto the lid. So I have two sticky pieces of Velcro, one on the, the flat disc part, and one on the very bottom of my candle. 
but I made sure to leave the switch free. So I can turn on the switch, Velcro it back in, and then just, so I have some illumination. So you can see, it's a very simple idea, but it's really cute and easy. And then we come to our Valentine jar. This one was so pretty. I love the shape of it. It has four sides. It's a small jar with a wide mouth. It's really cute. Um, first thing I did was Mod Podge some tissue paper, some pretty tissue paper all around the edge. It's just a single layer of tissue paper um, with a coat of Mod Podge on the jar itself. Then the tissue paper and then another coat of Mod Podge on top to hold it in place. I also um, added a little heart here. Um, this, I just cut out some little hearts, little Valentine hearts, out of a roll of red wrap, wrapping paper. And I Mod Podge one onto here. And I just added one here on this side and one here on that side. And I have one last one to add on. Remember your Mod Podge will dry clear. Just position it in there however you like. Then Mod Podge right over top so it stays in place. and then you would allow this to dry. Um, really, it doesn't take that long. If I just put it on the side of my bathtub uh, under, under a, um, a piece of newspaper and it dries in no time. Um, one thing that you might want to make a note of for anything that you Mod Podge, uh, Mod Podge actually makes um, another product called a clear acrylic sealer. And so it permanently um, seals your, your um, crafts. So if you think to get, if you think of it, you know, you can buy this, that as well. And um, so you can keep your, your pretty crafts forever. But anyway, once this all dries, if I felt like it, I could add a little, a little glitter here and there. I could just, sprinkle on a little bit of, I would put Mod Podge down. You could use white glue too. Um, and I have some pink glitter and I have some red and you would have to like do the whole, the whole jar. You could just add a little bit of sparkle that way. Um, of course, put, you will put your candle in the middle, however, what, whatever type of candle you would like. Um, I have saved just the top, this part of the lid, the ring of it, and um, I have attached a red ribbon here. Um, you could use pink or you wouldn't even need this part of it. You could just use it around the mouth of the jar. Um, if you want, you could add a little, a little silk flower and you would be all set for Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching this program today. I hope I've given you a couple of new ideas about making your own luminaria. Happy crafting!